Hey there, it's Frank, that one web guy, and I'm back with another video. In this video, I wanted to show you how you can dress up your menu by adding a icon to the left of it really easily in Beaver Builder. Now, if you're using the Beaver Builder theme, you know how easy it is to customize things around um, and add things just to dress it up a little bit. But I wanted to add, uh, you know, add the icons, as you can see here, uh, to the left of the menu items instead of just having just plain drab text. And I didn't want to have to go in and you know, do a custom widget and add HTML and all that kind of thing. I've had to do that in the past, but I figured there had to be an easier way, and there is. So what I wanted to show you here is um, these are actually just uh, Font Awesome icons that are, you know, Font Awesome is one of the things built into Beaver Builder so that you can add icons throughout the site or just add different um, things that just kind of dress it up a little bit. So in this case, I just went to Font Awesome and I found the icon I wanted to look that I wanted to use whether it be like the play circle, I think I used the play circle for the sessions, I used an archive box for the resources, a uh, live camera for the live stream, and then this is actually a solar panel icon, uh, which is kind of funny. But uh, I was just trying to find things that look like, uh, you know, like when I type in video, it came up with all the different video icons. So I used this as a play circle, this is the video for the live stream page. And then I was looking for dashboards um, for for the other and I just couldn't find anything that I liked so I just started looking at uh, panels and stuff like that and that's when I came across the solar panel uh, so that's how I came across with that but if you're wanting to do this yourself it's really quick and easy uh, maybe you have uh, I'm thinking about maybe adding a address page or a page for people to update their profile that type of thing so we look for a user icon um, you know so we could find something along that lines uh, I really don't like those. Let's try, we, I just seen something that triggered my eye, maybe contact. Uh, so we could actually use an ID card or something like that. So if we click here, all you need to do is look for this where it says copy HTML. If you click on that, you can go to your menu then. And in this case, you know, you can see I already have some done, but I'm just going to put in a test one. Uh, well, let's just do stream test, add to menu. It'll pop it down here and it says stream test. So I'll click the drop down, and instead of just in the navigation level, level, well, it says navigation label, I said la level, okay, that's where I got that. Um, we post that in there, and I'll add a space, and it's, that's why I'm just adding that next to the stream test. And I'll save this, save the menu, and if I go back to our page, it should show that, oops, I want to hit refresh, not plus, come on, Frank. So we see stream test with our navigation icon, our contact stream, our contact icon. So this would be eventually, um, I could actually come in here and change it to um, update contact or something like that, or just contact info, account info maybe. I'm trying to think of something short, account info. We'll save the menu. Let's refresh again and you can see right here it says account info with our little um, ID card now, I did want to also show let's go ahead and take that ID card off uh, just so you can see how plain it looks without it save menu session 4 click there and you can see here it just says account info and it looks kind of plain and drab so um, I think you probably agree by having that in there it looks a lot better so just pop it back in there I think I can just hit Control V and paste it back in there, the space to give it some room. And there we go. Let's refresh. And you can see having that in there just dresses it up. Really something simple and easy. Again, that's if you're using the Beaver Builder I or the Beaver Builder plugin or the Beaver Builder theme, you know, that's built in. Um, I think you'll find that useful. So um, again, I uh, hope you find that tip useful, and I'll be back with another video again soon. Thanks.